Confusion as Tetel staff clash in public. Welcome back to Bari News Kenya. This is where we give you the latest updates in Kenya and around the world. Economist Devin D. O. works at State House as President William Ruto's economic advisor on Thursday clashed with his colleague on how resolutions from the cabinet were being communicated. Ndi flagged a report from the Presidential Communication Service known as PCS claiming that the cabinet on Wednesday agreed to spend 66 billion Kenya shillings equivalent to 400 million euros on unbundling power transmission lines and an extra 20 billion equivalent to 1.2 billion euros for a solar power project. The Economist further alleged that journalists employed at State House were not qualified to report financial figures. And I quote from his statement, Kenyan journalists are atrocious at reporting figures even when they work for the government. End of quote. He added that even if the Kenya Kwanzaa administration wanted to loot public funds, they could not be as greedy as projected. They added that the cabinet represented the figures in shillings, but the presidential communications team misinterpreted the amount as euros. The presidential economic advisor was put on a task to explain how 42 megawatt solar project could be built using 1.2 billion Kenya shillings, according to his argument. He, in his defense, remarked that PCS could have only misreported the cabinet resolutions. And I quote from his statement, If they got the currency wrong, why do you assume the rest is correctly reported? End of quote. Root in January, replaced the presidential strategy communication unit with PCS managed by nearly five top staffers. Among them are Public Communications Secretary Munyori Buku, Digital and Innovation Secretary Davis Nzioka, and Messaging Secretary Eric Ngeno. Other members of PCS include Public Communications Director Wanjoi Gidai and Branding and Events Secretary James Kinyua. That is what we know right here on Bari News Kenya. My name is Ojuang. Odero.